I'm actually filming this the day after I've gone and done 150k um, Audax. But I just thought I'd do a bit of a spiel at the start and then we'll go to the footage and yeah, come back at the end. Uh, basically yesterday I did a 150km Audax um, from Trowell in Nottinghamshire. Um, it's a Brevet Populaire, a term I might explain in another video. There's whole different explainers to do there for you. Obviously under 200 kilometers, and I'm working towards Randonneur around the year so I decided to enter it as an extended calendar event um, which means I tacked on the extra 50k either side uh, to bring it up to over 200 k's um, for my Randonneur around the year. Another explainer that I will do at some point. So yeah it was a nice weather forecast, there was a bit of an onslaught of rain in the days leading up to it. Thankfully uh, the sky parted ways and the sunshine came down so thankfully the sun came out and everything was hunky dory really um i even wore shorts so yeah take a look how we got on um yeah, it was a pretty nice route and i'll give a bit of a review after Okay, so we're in uh, Trowell. I've just ridden 18 to get here, so hopefully it goes up to 200. I don't know why it's lower. Um, yeah, it's 8.23 in the morning and I'm gonna get going. Um, I didn't get time to do a nice sequence at the start for you uh, because I thought I was short on time, but it turns out I could have done something cool. So, just gonna have a bit to eat and then off we go. First info is at 29. <laughs> And then mounts are all 63k Winenden. Gonna go for that pronunciation. Another info at 91, 112 Cafe East Leak, and then finish at 155. And then I've got another 25k to go. Right, then here we are. Let's see how windy this gets. Uh, we just sit sorely. There's a massive power station ahead, which I'll try and get a picture of for you in a sec. Just got caught up in a bunch of about 20 riders. I had to get away. It's just it's a bit too suburban round here. It's just like the first lane we've come across basically that is a bit quieter. So I just overtook them anyway. Quite a nice route so far, like I said, suburban. I'm not used to out in my neck of the woods, but uh, the weather's looking good, and I'm really excited for my first bit of cake. <laughs> Alrighty, I've got an info coming up at the next T junction, something to do with a post box last collection on Wednesday or something so usually I pull over take a picture and crack on and then when I next need to stop I'll jot it down in the brevet card but uh, yeah we'll see what happens in about 920 meters Right, helpfully, none of that last chunk has recorded. Well, it's recorded, but not any audio. Uh, got another 20k till the next info. So, 
So we've got a big headwind at the moment, which I'm having to fight through. And it's hard work on your own, but someone's got to do it. The weather's looking great for the rest of the day. And it's just about to get over. I think we've got another info control soon and these look at the Breve card. The last one was at Nipton. Like a distance sign to the previous village we came through. Yeah. Another info back there was a sign at a crossroads at Old Dolby for Nether Broughton or something. Anyway, the answer is two and a half miles in case I forget later on. But I'm pleased to report the wind is now right at my arse after a very long stretch of horrible. Oh, done and a lovely donut for my rewards so I think we've got 20 or 30k to them back up trowel and then another 30k back to my car to round it up to 200 big ones so it's been a pretty good day out nice and quick Onion if you want it. Weird. Right, we've made it back. Now I've just got 28 k's to go until I'm back at the car. So that should, yeah, that will give me over 200, which is good. Um, yeah, ended up being a bit of a quick one in the end. There was a little climb just before, um, kind of like the last, the like home straight bit really. Yeah, hopefully. I'll uh, get a bit more before the end. It's pretty hilly back to Alfreton now, so I've got to find the legs again after ripping them off just back then. Right, weird observation. Just saw two people walking proper birds, like falcons. And they were like flapping around all on their gloves. They were falconry people or something, but I felt well sorry for the birds. Fly free, my friends. That was an autumn day out, 150 kilometer Audax, um, which I obviously ECE'd to 200. Um, got my full brevet card here, so it started off nice easy one, info, um, proper control at some tea rooms, info again, another proper, info, info, proper, and then the finishing one. Um, so yeah, really easy route. Um, very beginner friendly, I thought, um, and well organised with plenty of proper controls. You know, there was no need to have to try and find food anywhere or hang out at a petrol station forecourt, as is tradition in, Org in Ordax. Um, the cons for me were the parts of the route were a bit too suburban, um, too many cars and stuff. I prefer a route that um, makes the most of the countryside. Um, and the route itself doesn't really have any highlights as such, um, you know, like no castles or particularly big hills to climb, um, which for me um, is a bit of a con, but it's up to you. Um, some people prefer rolling routes with, you know, just go out, get it done. Um, quite a few of the Cheshire routes are like that. So yeah, I would recommend it if you're thinking of getting into Audax, nice and easy one. Um, I think you could do it as a perm if you wanted to, maybe contact the organiser just to confirm that. Um, and then you can do the route in your own time, regardless of the event. Um, so yeah, check back for next time. Um, hoping to do a couple more events um, in the next few weeks. I've got a DIY, hopefully, that I'm planning. Um, and yeah, let me know if there's anything you want to know about Audax or long distance cycling, and I'll do my best to do a video about it. Bye. Thank you.